Hello, hello, Hidden Hermit here. Here to do a random reading. Uh, today is Sunday the 9th of February. It's about five past three in the afternoon UK time. Uh, the sun is at 20 degrees Aquarius and the moon is at 24 degrees Leo. Indeed, about seven hours ago we had a full moon. Nice Leo full moon. Uh, other astrological things going on. Uh, we have uh, Venus entered Aries yesterday just over 24 hours ago exciting stuff um there's a lot of fire stuff going on at the moment and uh mars is coming to the end of its transit through sagittarius there's been a lot of interesting things happening especially with neptune aspects but i might make another video for that in the meantime let's do this random reading so who is this reading for and i'll apologize you haven't asked for this reading totally unsolicited so if this if you feel this applies to you and you don't want it switch off pretend it never happened all right then so your sun sign are you a pisces pisces sun and your moon sign what kind of a moon sign are we going for of course mercury's just entered pisces as well in the last few days more weird stuff going on with that taurus okay so pisces sun Taurus Moon is this reading for you. Uh, I am going to be using, I'm going to go an old school today, use my uh, Waitsmith, this is Corinne. Uh, she has indeed been um, fumigated, <laughs> cleansed, fumigated. She's ready to do a reading, she's up for it. Um, I drew the Page of Swords when I asked if she was up for it. So she is up for it. A lot of curiosity in her heart. Uh, has been shuffled, but I'm going to shuffle it again just a little bit, well, badly, as you can see. Oof. Must be feeling a little out of sorts today, you never know. Anyway, let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, so, Pisces Sun, Taurus Moon, is this reading for you? Let's do this. I'll do my usual lantern spread, so this is what's going through your heart and mind at the moment. Here is a situation that you are currently facing, or will be facing really, really soon. These are energies leading up to the situation. Uh, this could very much be a past card if it's happening now or a now card if it's happening soon. These are energies surrounding the situation and these two cards have a very strong dialogue. And this is a potential outcome if you change nothing uh, or the energy surrounding the future of the situation. I hope that sounds fine. If it doesn't, I'm going to be doing it anyway. All right, so what's going through your heart and mind at the moment, Pisces? We've got the Ace of Wands. Okay, so maybe um, Mercury entering your sign, your your sun sign, clearly, is, is giving you a, a little bit of a, ooh, that feels kind of nice. That feels kind of exciting. Um, so, yeah, you're feeling pretty good at the moment. You have your wand ready. You're, you're up for it. Are you looking to to start something new, perhaps? Are you um, perhaps thinking, well, you know, if you are a Pisces sun, um, it's going to be your birthday soon. And I do find that Pisces are one of those signs that really do like the coming of their birthday. Well, everybody does really, don't they? But it, it does mark the end of winter and the beginning of spring. So, it, it, yeah, you get that spring in the step. So I would suggest that you're feeling pretty good at the moment. What's the situation that you are currently facing, or will be facing very soon, is the Four of Swords. So, it looks like you're going to be needing to take a rest at the moment. Now, if you are a Pisces sun and a Taurus moon, I'd like you to do me a favour, maybe leave um, a comment. Do you sleep a lot? Do you like your bed? Do you sleep for like 17 hours a day? <laughs> um, I'm merely asking for, for research purposes um and adversely if you only sleep for like three hours a night i'd like to know uh, it's just out of curiosity but you know that pisces sun taurus moon you, you'd like to be sort of cocooned you'd like being warm i would imagine you like dreaming you like sleeping a lot i don't know it's just a theory but here we go the four of swords here is suggesting that you may need to take a rest in my experience the four of swords is isn't Oh, you know, you might want to take a little bit of a break. It's to take a break. Okay, so why are we why are we leading up to this Four of Swords? 
Page of Pentacles. Some interesting vibes going on here. So, I don't know, there was a curious, um, I mean, this is going to be your moon sign manifesting, I would suggest. There was a curiosity. Maybe you've been thinking about starting something new, you know, and it's still to the forefront of your mind. I don't think you've actually got started yet, have you? You're doing a lot of thinking about it. You're doing a, a lot of wandering, if you like. But uh, maybe maybe all this thinking is going to be tiring you out, I would suggest. I would um, presume, I would guess. Okay, so um, how? what is this Four of Swords? What, what's it trying to tell us? What's the energy about this? Right, this is crazy. We're going very pagey at the moment. There's the Page of Cups. Uh, and interestingly, I drew the Page of Swords before I did this reading. That's crazy. So, yeah, Page of Cups here. So here's your moon sign. And uh, here's your, your sun sign coming through. Come on, Pisces sun. You need to... You need to do something. You need to embody this Ace of Wands. There's a, there's a very sort of... You, you really want to get started with something. You've been doing a lot of thinking about it. You've been doing a lot of dreaming about it. You're getting bored. You're getting stuck like waiting for things to happen i have to tell you now you maybe you need a little bit of be interested to know where your mars is depending on you know pisces sun taurus moon where's your mars where is your jupiter i'd like to see a little fire and air coming through because at the moment yeah, it's all been quite static what is it you're trying to get started what is it you want to sort of take the plunge in why do you want to do this why are you feeling stuck why are you why are you spending so much time in bed? I don't know. I don't know. What's a, a potential outcome? A Queen of Cups. Okay, so it doesn't suggest a great deal of action. It, it suggests more, well, you know, I, I'm going to continue thinking about this. So how much do you really want this? What What is this thing that you want to get started? Because you, you do. You want to get started with something, but there is a bit of caution and there is a... Um, a kind of a dreamy vibe going on here and that's not gonna um th that's not gonna subside at any time soon by the looks of it because you're in a state of uh repose by the looks of it I, i'm doing this out of my own curiosity i'm gonna lay a, a clarifier ca card down what well, not clarifier it's a to be continued card well wow, look at that that's crazy <laughs> that is absolutely mental isn't it absolutely mental yeah, the King of Pentacles very much likes things the way they are. You know, don't change anything for me. I'm quite happy here. Very Taurus card. So, you know, your your moon sign's really pushing through here. I'm finding this really frustrating. <laughs> I just get this sense that you want to get something, you want to do something. But it doesn't look like you're going to get from get out from under the, the duvet or off the couch anytime soon. I would love to know if that meant anything to you, Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moon. And I would love to know how much time you think is an acceptable amount of sleep. Um, I'm going to go and, I don't know, run a mile or something, because I'm, I'm feeling really like somebody's smothering me at the moment. But there you go. It's been kind of fun, though. Thanks for watching. I am the Hidden Hermit. Have a lovely day.